Imagine standing at the edge of a diving board, the pool of investing below. Are you ready to jump? Today, we dive into the five signs you're ready to start investing. Get ready to make a splash. Kicking off at number five, it's all about financial stability. Picture this, you're cruising down the highway, the wind in your hair, not a care in the world. That's the kind of freedom financial stability gives you in the investing world. It means having a steady job, a paycheck that covers more than just your bills, and some extra cash that you can play around with. If you're scraping by, barely making ends meet, then brother, you might want to pump the brakes on investing. It's like stepping into a high-stakes poker game without enough chips. You don't want to be that person. Let's shift gears to number four. The Emergency Fund Imagine you're in the middle of a heist movie. Everything's going according to plan, but suddenly there's a twist. Something goes wrong. The alarms are going off and people are running and screaming everywhere. Basically complete mayhem. That's life for you, full of surprises. An emergency fund is your getaway car in these situations. It's the cash stash that keeps you safe when life throws a curveball your way. We're talking about having enough dough saved up to cover a good three to six months of your living expenses. Why? Because when you start investing, you're playing the long game. You can't be dipping into your investments every time your car breaks down or you need a new roof. That emergency fund is your safety net, ensuring your investments stay put and grow just like they're supposed to. So, are you the kind of person with a steady job and a little extra money at the end of the month? Do you have a stash of cash set aside for those just-in-case moments? If you're nodding yes, then you might just be ready to step into the world of investing. But, uh, hold up. We're just getting started. This journey's just begun, and you don't want to miss what's coming next. Diving into sign number three, investment knowledge. Imagine you're stepping into a classic Western duel. The sun's high, the street's empty, and it's just you and your opponent. In the world of investing, knowledge is your weapon, your shield, and sometimes your best ally. It's not about being a know-it-all. It's about understanding the basics. What's a stock? How do bonds work? What about mutual funds, ETFs, and all that jazz? You don't need to be the next Warren Buffett, but you should know enough to not shoot yourself in the foot. Investing without understanding is like trying to drive a car without knowing how to shift gears. You might move a bit, but you're not going anywhere fast, and there's a good chance you'll crash. So before you put your hard-earned cash on the line, make sure you've got the knowledge to back it up. Read up, take a course, watch videos on channels like ours, and do whatever it takes to get savvy. Remember, in the words of Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Now, sign number two, long-term goals. Picture being the main character in an epic saga. Your journey's filled with twists and turns, but you've got your eyes on the prize, that distant shining goal at the end of the road. I hope the others find a safer road. In investing, your long-term goals are your North Star. They guide you, keep you focused, and help you make decisions when the going gets tough. Are you saving for a house? Planning for retirement? Dreaming of starting your own business? These aren't just dreams. They're signposts on your investing journey. They dictate what kind of investments you'll make, how much risk you're willing to take, and how long you're in the game. Without these goals, you're just wandering in the financial wilderness. But with them, every step you take, every decision you make, brings you closer to where you want to be. Uh, sorry for stopping your video, but you really should subscribe. So ask yourself, what am I investing for? What's my end game? If you've got clear answers to these questions, then my friend, you're not just ready to start investing, you're ready to start winning. Now, we've arrived at the final and perhaps the most critical sign you're ready to start investing. Sign number one, risk tolerance and emotional preparedness. This, my friends, is where the rubber meets the road, 
where the true investors are separated from the mere spectators. Imagine you're the hero in a high-octane action movie. There are explosions, high-speed chases, and heart-stopping moments. In the world of investing, your ability to stay calm during these metaphorical explosions like market fluctuations, economic downturns, and all types of market turmoil is what defines your risk tolerance. It's about knowing how much heat you can handle without getting burned. Ask yourself, can you watch your investment dip by 10%, 20%, or even 50% and still sleep at night? Can you resist the urge to sell everything at the first sign of trouble? This isn't just about numbers and charts. It's about knowing yourself. It's about understanding that the market is a wild beast. It can be tamed but never fully controlled. But here's the twist. It's not just about being able to stomach the risk. It's about being emotionally prepared to make rational decisions when every fiber of your being is screaming to do the opposite. It's about not letting fear or greed drive your investment choices. As the legendary investor Warren Buffett says, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. It's this emotional discipline that separates successful investors from the rest. So take a long, hard look in the mirror. Are you ready to ride the roller coaster of the stock market with your emotions in check? If the answer is yes, then congratulations, you're not just ready to start investing. You're ready to thrive in the world of investing. Let's circle back to where we started. Investing isn't just about having enough money or knowing the right terms. It's a mindset, a way of life. It's about being stable, prepared, knowledgeable, goal-oriented, and emotionally disciplined. If you've got these five signs, then the world of investing isn't just open to you. It's inviting you in with open arms.